Hello all, welcome to the MATLAB tutorials. In this video, we are going to perform the simulation of a ball bouncing off a surface. First, let's see the mathematical modeling. So for the simulation, I have used three equations. One is y is equal to v naught t minus half g t square. So these two are uh, the kinematic e equations with the constant acceleration. And the second equation is v is equal to v naught minus g t. So here, y is the vertical position of the ball and v naught is the initial velocity of the ball. Then g is the acceleration due to gravity and t is the time elapsed since the start of the simulation. The third equation what I have used is a restitution equation for a ball bouncing of surface. And v2 is equal to minus e into v1. Okay, So here v2 is the velocity of the ball after the bounce and v1 is the velocity of the ball before the bounce and here e is the coefficient of restitution. So this determines how much kinetic energy is retained after the bounce and in this case I have used ES 0.8 which means that 80% of the kinetic energy is gained after the bounce. So here is the MATLAB code I have constructed. First, I am going to define the simulation parameters. So, g I have given, v0 is the initial velocity, I have given it as 10 and h0 is the initial height and I have provided 10. t is the maximum simulation time. So, I have given 15 seconds and tt is the time step. So, I have uh, provided 0.01. Next, I am going to initialize the variables. So, t is equal to from 0 to maximum time and with uh, dt intervals. So, from 0 to 15, I am creating a time vector with a gap of 0 0.01. Next, I am creating a height vector with zeros and uh, for the size of t. Similarly, I have created the velocity vector with zeros. Next, o of 1, that is the initial height. So, initial height we have already defined as h0 and the initial velocity is v0. Next, I am going to simulate the effect. So, I have uh, used a for loop for i is equal to 2 because 1 I have already mentioned that is the initial condition. So, I am starting from 2 to the length of t. So, if y of i minus 1 that is the previous uh, height is less than or equal to 0 and the velocity of uh, the previous iteration is less than 0 which means that if these two are satisfied then it means that the ball uh, has hit the surface. Okay, So, if it hits the surface then the next velocity is uh, calculated using the restitution equation. So, minus 0 0.8 into v of previous iteration and uh, y that is height is equal to 0 because the ball is in contact with the surface. Else otherwise the ball continues uh, the free fall motion. So, v is equal to uh, previous velocity minus g into time step then y is uh, v dt minus half g t square. So, with this I am adding the previous height because from uh, the previous iteration only we are going to add uh, the height of the next iteration. Then I have uh, plotted the results and I have uh, provided title and uh, switched on the grid. Now we will uh, simulate this. Okay, so you can see that from uh, 10 meter it starts and it goes up, then it hits and uh, in this period the restitution equation will be used and in the remaining position the kinetic uh, equations will be used and uh, the simulation is created for a maximum of 15 seconds. If you want you can adjust uh, the initial velocity and initial height and also you can adjust the maximum simulation time. Thank you for watching.